Hey, 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 Pisces, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, February 5th to the 6th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave today. I do appreciate it. And thank you for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Please also note, Pisces, that this can be past, present, or future as time and energy are fluid. I'm going to grab some cards here and then get a message from the angels before I begin, as usual. One more card. Okay. I like it. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Cups. <coughs> okay, let me get a message first. Love can be a deterrent to your responsibility sometimes, Pisces. Balance is required here in the coming months. So you don't get sidetracked off the business at hand, they're saying. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> That's what they just said. Focus, focus, focus. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, and I'm feeling it is in career, um, make sure you're focused and not swayed by, it. make sure that, mm, just make sure that you're focused and nothing outside of work is deterring you while you're at work, okay? Yeah, they're saying leave it at home, like leave love at home, focus, you know, separate the two. I'm just feeling a separation is needed here because both ends will lose out on energy because you're splitting your energy, right? Okay, let's see what's going on here. Mm. Yeah, see, your intuition could be telling you this because you got the High Priestess here, which is Gemini and Pisces for me as a reader, right above the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a love offer. It's the most romantic card in the deck here. And I'm feeling that, you know, your, your head could be in such a romantic place, you know, sort of like having your head in the clouds that it's like you're um, I'm seeing daydreaming at work. See, and you intuitively know that you have to separate this from work because on this side, over here, we have the Queen of Pentacles, right? Across from the Page of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is, is right below the Empress. She is very down to earth. She pays attention to what she's growing. She's appreciating, nurturing, right? She wants to um, nurture things and people with the tangible, okay? So you can't do that if you're not concentrating on your work. See how he's appreciating he or she, uh, the pinnacle, and they're seeing the, the <clears throat> abundance there. They're seeing the potential there. This is like potential. <coughs> Excuse me. This is potential, but there really has to be sort of an organization of love and work. So let's dig a little bit deeper. Tell me about the high priestess here. Tell me about the high priestess for Pisces. Okay. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, that's emotion. That's intuition again. Mm. This is love. This is your emotions run deep. You're all, you know, it's great to be in love. It's great to appreciate it and be in that romantic 
um, portion of it. But, oh my God, I know all too well how if your focus is only on love, it just, it just fucks with your life. It just really does. Um, trust me, I'm trying to learn the balance here between work and love. And it's tough sometimes because you want to get all wrapped up in your emotions and your heart, right? And you want to be with this person all the time and you want to talk to them all the time. But it's interesting because at the same time, you've got this queen of pentacles mentality where you want to nurture this person. And the queen of pentacles wants to nurture with the tangible, which is, you know, food, cooking them dinner, keeping them warm, keeping them comfortable, taking them places, um, you know, which costs money, which takes work. So it's an interesting dichotomy here that you have. So let's clarify. Let's clarify the, um, the Knight of Cups. Who is this Knight of Cups for you? Could be a Cancer Scorpio or, ooh, the Empress. Could be a Taurus or a Libra, Pisces. Now, if you don't have somebody in your life, okay, then this is definitely somebody that's on your mind. That's very intuitive because you've got the Queen of Cups, High Priestess, and the Empress. This is somebody extremely intuitive, in touch with nature, is very expansive, knows how to make things grow. She'll tell you to pay attention to your shit. Maybe she will. She or he could be an Emperor. Okay, so tell me about the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. This is your driving force, this passion. This is the Eight Hours of Love, Pisces. But this is also movement. This is travel. It could require you to travel with this work, right? Clarify this Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Knight of Swords. Yeah, you need to communicate. There's a lot of internet work I'm feeling. There's a lot of computer stuff, a lot of, and I'm feeling travel, whatever this is, you may have to travel to go meet with clients or <coughs> whatnot. And it may be taking you away from this love interest. Clarify this Knight of Swords. Yeah. The tower. So don't let it come to a disastrous moment. I feel like this is more of a fear of yours, Pisces. Like you feel like if you travel for work and you're away from your love, that's, you know, something awful is going to happen. They're going to, they're going to find somebody else or yada, yada, right? Clarify this tower. The emperor. Yeah. See, now we have a pair. You feel like this is going to be broken up. And Spirit's saying, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay? So what is your, what's your advice in regards to career, Spirit, for Pisces? What's your advice in regards to career for Pisces, Spirits? Let go. Let go of what's weighing you down. Let go of some of the responsibilities that you have. Let go of what's weighing on your mind as well, this tower. Yeah. Stop running away from responsibilities. Stop being anxious about it. Get out of the dark here, Pisces. Essentially. Okay? Know that this is yours for the taking, this Ten of Pentacles. Legacy. You are building a legacy, okay? You're the shit. You have an empress here. If you're the emperor or empress, doesn't matter which one you are, you're a fucking, you know, talk about power couple. Damn. All right? You got it going on. So keep the balance here, especially if you're the emperor and empress. You know this needs to be done. Your intuition is screaming at you that it needs to be done. You may be, the other may be also telling you this, that it needs to be done. Okay. This is what may be causing the tower moment too. Arguments about this, the work-life balance, something surrounding that. But know that this can be worked out. 
Let me see your advice for this tower. What's your advice for this tower moment? Yeah. Communicate. Communicate. Look at this logically. Okay. Spirit wants you to look at this tower moment logically. No need for a blow up. Communicate. Look at it logically. Use your intellect. Be fair. Okay. All right, Pisces. I hope you resonated with this reading. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. You have yourself a fantastic day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.